O oh day, O oh sad and mournful day, King Gary got on stage to say, He might have to take our fare away, We feel like poo, we feel betrayed, With a hey, and a ho, and a naughty naughty no, It comes down to us to save the show. Hey Bobbin, check it out. He's alone. Now's our chance. Let's do it. Okay. <clears throat> hello, gentle Pobbin and Pippin. Uh, hello, gentle Bobbin. And gentle Pippin. <laughs> yes, whatever. Can I help you guys? Well, um, we were hoping... Desiring. Looking forward to... Speaking, speaking with, with the, the king. king. Yeah, there's that thing you do, huh? Well, the king's a very busy man. I can give him a message. Mm. Quickly. Joust starts in ten minutes. Right. Well, we were wondering... Because this is the last year of the fair and all, maybe... Uh, that then... maybe this year we could finally do our epic cycle. Sorry, your epic what? Our epic cycle. Our rock opera. Our, our Ren rock opera. opera. The masterful tale of Yorick the Jester. Yeah, we've been writing it for like the last three years. And it's almost done. Uh, it's planned out. Part of it is about a young minstrel who's a genius and plays music unlike anyone's ever heard before. He's, he's, he's sort of like the Jester to the universe. Yeah, I think I told you about it before like a lot. Yeah. Right. But explanations don't do it justice. Oh, no, they do not. Here, we open on a cold Nordic field. Kids, come along, let's keep it together here. Now, I know you guys think of me as Mr. Wiseman, your boring eighth grade history teacher. But, uh, what you don't know is every weekend from May to September, I come alive when I transform into... Friar Eric, the Ribald. Mr. W, this sucks. Done suck, Keisha. It's a wondrous window into our past, a festival of sights, sounds, smells, and tastes. But this lad can't get enough of it. Smokey, hast thou my sword already? Yes, yeah, Sir Kent. Here it be. Oh, yes. Oh, oh, yes. yes. She's a beaut. Yes, he is. That's perfectly balanced for hand to hand combat. Tell you something, take this thing deer hunting, it's all over. This bitch will fuck a deer up. Oh man, I wish I could. Oh man, things were so much better back then, you know, like in the real renaissance. Man could carry around one of these, you know, no cops bothering you with, where are you going with that sword? And if they did, neck to navel. Oh, times are changing. Fucking Democrats. Dude, just get a concealed sword permit. They don't exist. I've asked. Nah, man, I got one. You just wrote your name and sealed sword permit on the back of a McDonald's card. Yeah, but Magnus notarized it. Aye. With blood. What, could, uh, could you make me one? Yeah, give me a sec. Me thinks me needs a new battle axe. Yeah, well, you better get one now. Not gonna be able to get your hands on one once this place closes down. That's why it won't, Kent. For the preservation of the old ways. Magnus. Notarize this. Aye. So you've done Shakespeare first, huh? Oh yeah. The past several seasons. I would have done it this year too, but I don't know, I feel like I've got kind of overexposed there, I guess. Too popular with the audiences, probably. Oh yeah. Besides, there's no roles for guys in Henry VI, anyways. Most recently I played Laertes in the Humbug Players production of Hamlet, the first quarto. I've also been fortunate enough to play Benvolio, Caius Cassius. And now you're playing Murdoff the Magnipotent. Yeah. Which is funny because I'm pretty sure there were no wizards in the Renaissance. Or ever. 
I hate you. I hate you. And you. Now, of course, the fair differs from the real Renaissance in some ways. Certain linguisticisms, for example, uh, the waffle falafel stand. I don't think they had that back then. However, I think you'll find the similarities are striking. It's my Rosa. Speaking of striking, <laughs> the lusty wench. A legitimately authentic uh, part of every sure Renaissance gentleman's life. experience. Uh, yes, I'll, I'll take a rose. Let's. I think I have a payment for you in my pocket. Children, I'll be back in five, seven minutes. Dragon's breath is mighty, the smithy's hammer's tiny, but be not afeard, my child. Good, good. Okay, and then Odin steps out, and he's got his two ravens on his shoulder. Hugin and Munin, they're both elaborate puppets. And they sing in complex harmony. We can see through far and near, through past and present, what will appear. We are the ravens, ravens of the universe. Puppets. This sounds expensive. Well, they don't have to be puppets. No, no, I mean, they can be real trained ravens. That sounds more expensive. Uh, good art is always expensive. Yeah, well, to be honest, guys, the schedule's kind of tight this year, so maybe we just play it by ear. Yeah, no, because that's what you've said for the past couple of years, so... Well, great. Great. I'm glad that's settled. I'll be sure to mention it to Gary about your little project, and I'll be sure to let you know what he thinks, cool. okay? You know, if he thinks anything. Okay. Jousting five! Thank you, five. Uh, he's not gonna tell Gary. No, he's not. Nobody takes us seriously. It's the price of genius, I suppose. We should rewrite it. So that nobody recognizes the young minstrel's genius. <sighs> yeah, until the end. Right, right before, before they, they all die. die. Yes, we should definitely do that. Next time we have time to work on it, we definitely will. I'm gonna, I'm gonna lay down in the grass and just think about it. Me too. I'm gonna close my eyes and work on it in my head. Maybe we should go to sleep. And, and see, see what, what comes, comes to us in our dreams. dreams. Yeah. Let's do that. Totally. Okay, night, night. Night.